Welcome, this is the Tesla Semi-Advocate and today's video is a compilation of Tesla fun, Tesla Semi fun facts. Um, we're going to talk about several things that I've been discussing over the uh, last year and a half of being the Tesla Semi-Advocate and uh, all of the video content is my own unlike many other channels that um, borrow content from from other uh, content providers. This everything you see will is recorded by me. In any event, let's get started. The first Tesla semi fun fact is um, power to power to spare. The Tesla semi can maintain legal highway speed, whether going up or down a steep grade. The result is a game of hopscotch as the Tesla Semi powers past diesel semis going up any significant grade where the diesel semis are heavily loaded and the semi, the Tesla Semi is loaded with as much as um, 82,000 pounds as they're granted two extra thousand pounds in, in terms of DOT regulations. So the, diesel, the Tesla Semi powers past the diesel semis going up a grade where the other semis regularly have to turn on, to legally turn on their flashers as they drop below 45 miles per hour. And I'm sure you guys are familiar, guys and gals, are familiar with the, with the, um, the annoying situation where a semi traveling at 0.5 miles an hour faster than the one ahead of it cuts, it, cuts in front of you and takes seemingly forever to pass that diesel semi that's barely going faster than and um, I understand why they do it they don't they want it, they need to maintain their um, speed but it's extremely annoying that thing is that that will be a thing of the past um, when Tesla semis and other EV semis are ubiquitous so what happens is um, there's a, a game of hopscotch results the um, the Tesla semi powers up the diesel semis going up a grade and then the diesel semis pass the semi as they exceed the speed limit going down. And the Tesla drivers are um, instructed to maintain highway legal speed going up or down. So they, um, in California, that means 55 miles per hour, which is a, in itself a silly rule. But this represents, this repeats itself several times on the westbound and eastbound routes on I-80 when the Tesla Semi engineering um, drivers drive between Reno, Nevada and Auburn, California. Okay, that was Tesla, that was uh, fun fact number one. Fun fact number two is the original Tesla, the original um, Alpha One Tesla Semi is actually not the red one that was at the Reno Museum. Um, with the placard saying it was the original Alpha, Alpha One. It was actually Ursa, the OG Alpha One Tesla semi. Ursa was a Freightliner that Tesla purchased and used as the test bed for semi architecture proof of concept. She now sits outside the prototype semi factory watching her progeny that are a result of the lessons learned from her. Essentially, they gutted that Freightliner and put in um, Model 3 motors and a battery pack behind the cab and the battery management system and um, basically tested the uh, concept. That's, bat that's Tesla Semi fun fact number two. The Tesla Semi fun fact number two is Tesla's incredible commitment to endurance testing. Let's discuss the investment Tesla has made validating the design of the Tesla Semi. From my first sighting in October of 2022, Tesla has been running the semi through its paces by employing two shifts of drivers in order to run up miles on the semi and discover and remediate issues as they erode, arose. This is no small feat as they did not slash the endurance team through several rounds of layoffs, proving their commitment to this program and to, and to validating the design. They put many miles on their engineering endurance team semis long before they delivered the first early ones to Pepsi and they continue to endeavor to stay ahead of Pepsi in terms of um, maximum miles on, on, on some, a few of the um, Tesla semis 
I have um, are have uh, 50, 60, 70,000 miles on them. And that is uh, the next Tesla Semi fun fact is that they are designed for safety. Drivers report that when they stop at a mandatory brake check areas to check for overheated brakes before heading down a grade, the brakes are always cool to the touch. This is a safety advantage over ICE semis. Instead of using gears, jake brakes, and standard brakes, the Tesla Semi uses regenerative braking to convert that energy back into the battery. To me, this is a profound um, step, not only for um, efficiency, but for safety. The next Tesla Semi fun fact is the efficient design. Um, it, Tesla Semi is a money printer, and I am convinced they will, the, the line, no other um, logistics company will be able to compete, um, and they will all line up and place orders for the Tesla Semi. The long range bobtail, no trailer, range is over 800 miles. Factor that an empty trailer range is over 700 miles. Incredible efficiency and power. Like Elon stated at the 2024 shareholder meeting, if you like money, buy the Tesla Semi. If you don't have a Tesla Semi in the near future, you won't be able to compete with logistic companies that do. The next Tesla Semi fun fact is, the, is um, a little known fact that I have been trying to um, emphasize, and that is the design breakthrough. It is not hyperbole to state that the design of the TDA, the torque drive axle, coupled with the EDA, the efficiency drive axle, is the single most important design breakthrough that makes the Tesla Semi work in the real world. Unless needed, the two plaid motors on the torque drive axle Disconnect, enabling the, the efficiency drive axles, single plaid motor to do most of the work. And uh, those are um, permanent magnet motors, as you may know. So being able to disconnect them mechanically is key. And um, that, that's, that's it for today's Tesla Semi Fun Facts. But um, I just think it's very exciting. And uh, if you want to see the um, Tesla high volume, factory um, construction progress, please follow me and uh, subscribe. So, and uh, I will, uh, I've been currently flying the drone every two weeks over at the um, construction site uh, near, on the Tesla Semi, I mean on the Tesla Gigafactory property, but not that, and for those of you who still don't know, that rendering, that beautiful rendering of the um, completed uh, Gigafactory Nevada structure uh, and rendering that they released last December is not the current plan. They're building a separate plan as, as shown in the shareholder meeting um, or conference call meeting of last, not in, in the recent past. In any event, um, I will be f tracking that progress and um, hope to see you uh, and hear you hear your feedback on the progress there, and they plan to deliver some of the high, the high volume Tesla Semi factory plans to deliver some in 2025, but ramp up in 2026. Thank you.